Coming up in Right On. This week, point of view in fiction. What's right and what's definitely wrong. Keep watching. I'm Rob Harnell, the world's foremost writing guru. I hope you're well and happy. This is the seventh Write On show in the first series, and it's time you got involved. Seriously, send me your questions about writing. Next week, I'll do my best to answer them. Stay tuned. Writing romance is about making the world a better place. It's about love, the way love should be. Romance writing is about you and how you see life as a beautiful, breathtaking adventure, full of emotionally charged relationships, of passion and desire, and glorious sexual release. And of course, happy endings. Write romance for fun and profit with Rob Parnell, the world's foremost writing guru. Available now at the link on screen. And now, point of view in fiction. What's right and what's wrong. Mao Zedong once said, In order to break the rules, one must first understand them. And so it is with point of view in fiction. First, let's make sure we understand the terms of reference. When it comes to point of view, we have four basic alternatives. Number one, first person, where everything is told from the limited point of view of the protagonist. The classic, I story. Good because you can get right inside the feelings and thoughts of the main character. Bad because nothing can happen that the hero isn't aware of. Number two, third person, where we follow the story through the thoughts and actions of many characters, usually one at a time. Good because it's a very flexible format. Bad because it's easy to lose focus. Number three, omniscient. This is where the writer describes anything and everything from any point of view at any time. A bit like the way Dickens and Agatha Christie used to write. Number four, a combination of the above three. Okay, so why is point of view so important? One word, identification. Readers generally want to relate to just one character at a time. It's human nature. It's the 21st century and the rules for writers have changed. Scratch that. There are no rules. Do you have the right stuff? Go to the link on screen right now and over the next four weeks find out all you need to know to make a living as a writer in the 21st century. Get the right stuff. More from this week's article. The modern trend is towards alternating chapters of third person omniscience with occasional forays into singular person, not exclusively limited to the protagonist. This is quite a challenging style, so why is it now the norm? One word, TV. Watching lots of TV and movies have forced us to think in terms of objective omniscience, where we tend to follow the characters, actions and reactions in real time. This works well because it's come to reflect the way we view story-based reality as a series of linear events, as a series of linear interactions that lead to a believable outcome. Little wonder then that most modern novelists use the same format. But in the actual writing, where should we place point of view? The best advice is that the scenes are most effectively told from the point of view of the person with the most to lose. Follow this particular guideline and you won't go far wrong. To conclude, my advice is when you choose to write any scenes, chapters, sections, whatever, you do so from one point of view at a time. And don't head hop between characters because that's what amateurs do. Keep writing. There are so many writer's resources out there on the net. How do you know which are the good ones? At Writer's Resources Reviews, we acquire and evaluate all the new writer's resources and only let you know about the good ones. Go to Writer's Resources Reviews now and subscribe to your free newsletter. This week's Writer's Quote. Blessed are the cracked, for they let the light through.
That's it for this show. Next week, we answer viewers' questions. It could be yours. Remember to subscribe to this channel, now called Rob Parnell, and also subscribe to easywaytowrite.com to get free writing stuff. Join me on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Google+. And if you can't find me, just type Rob Parnell into Google, and I'll be right there at the top. Until next time, stay happy and keep writing.